Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the Ask Rebecca radio show. Thank you for joining me. I hope everyone's week went pretty well. Uh, mine was okay, so I really don't have anything to complain about, which is a good thing. Uh, it went pretty smoothly for me. I did hear from a couple of you that um, some of the predictions did happen, uh, especially in the financial department. So thank you for sharing. I always love hearing the feedback. Uh, I, I really appreciate it. So thank you. Let's get right into tonight's predictions, which run through to next Thursday, November 16th. These are general predictions for everyone in areas of love, work, finances, health, and spirituality. So the general themes that I was feeling for this week um, is, one of them is, I feel like you'll be just demonstrating your mastery of self. For some of you, um, I think it, it kind of seems like it will be, you know, a time of achievement, gratitude, celebration, um, you know, the feeling of now you can kind of stop and take a moment to appreciate the tre tremendous amount of effort and mastery it took for you to get to where you are at this point in your life um, through challenges, you know, mastering whatever it is that you mastered about yourself in your life. Um, it is, I feel like you'll be taking a moment to enjoy it. Uh, it feels like you've climbed to the top of the mountain, um, you know, take in the fresh breeze, but mastery, like anything else in life, is a constant state of change. So once you've mastered one skill, um, you know, or achievement, it's on to the next. For some of you, I feel like um, I feel like some of you have just celebrated your achievements, and I feel like you'll be embarking on something new and stepping off into you know the unknown territory. You're not really sure what how things are going to play out or what they're going to look like, but you're making changes in your life. And I feel like you're now embarking on this new journey of self mastery of what you've got to learn and put forth in, in, in the world to, you know, move along. Others, I feel like we'll be dealing with situations this week, which will require you to use your mastery. So I feel like there's going to be situations coming up where all of a sudden you realize, oh man, I did, you know, I actually handled that really well, or, oh, I didn't react in the way that I thought I would, or, you know, you, you bring a calmness and there's just something that you've mastered. And I feel like you're going to um, be using that skill set this week. Everyone will experience a mastery of some sort. And, um, so it should be, you know, pretty interesting how it all plays out. I do feel like it's going to be, um, you know, whether you're mastering letting go of outdated ways of doing things and picking up new ways of doing things, or you're just mastering what not to do or uh, what to do, when to do it, how to do it, you know, whatever it is, um, it's going to just show up in, in everybody's life in a little bit of a different way and some, a little bit of everything. Then the other thing I was feeling too was hidden treasures. Um, and the hidden treasures I'm speaking about are unique benchmarks or validations uh, which align us with who we really are, kind of just a validation that you're on the right track. Um, you know, sometimes like those deja vu moments, you know, those are things where you're uh, the, basically the universe is validating that you're on the right track. So I feel like this is going to happen for everybody this week. Um, and I feel like it could show up in, you know, objects, people, places, information, just watch for it. I mean, I know I've experienced it myself in crazy ways. I One day I woke up and um, just saw this one specific word and it showed up everywhere from TV commercials to the back of pickup trucks to like pulling out a shirt out of the washer, out of the dryer and seeing the word written across of it. So you just never know how it's gonna show up, but it's definitely showing up for everybody um, this week in some way. Uh, you know, it, it will be unexpected, but it, you'll know, and you'll know when it happens, you'll recognize it, and, you know, you'll know it when it shows up. So don't worry about missing it, but you still have to bring a little bit of, of awareness to your day-to-day -day life. You can't just, you know, have your heads up in the cloud and, and, and think you're going to pick up on things that are happening in the moment. So, again, this is just the universe's way. Um, 
and your soul's way of showing you, yes, you're headed down the right path. So trust, and um, it's just to give a little bit of momentum to keep you on the right path. Um, another, so we're, some word, I hope I don't butcher this. Um, so ho, ho'oponopono is Hawaiian for making things right. And um, this term was just coming to mind and uh, to me, it feels like this week, several of you will be finding yourselves correcting past actions, healing a misunderstanding, putting attention into a relationship or rebalancing something um, by taking it to a new level or um, taking a step back from it. So I just feel like everybody is going to be self-correcting in some way. Um, and I feel like some, you know, uh, some of you may be on the receiving end of someone else's ho'oponopono as well. So it'll be a combination of both. You, you know, everybody's going to be working on um, basically making things right for themselves and for others. Um, you know, the, the past only gets recreated when you can't move on and let it go. So this is a great time. The energy is perfect for just really letting go of things, especially the past, because again, you know, it, it wasn't that great then, and if you stay stuck in it, you're just going to keep recreating it over and over and over again. I also feel like this week a major aspect of your lives will be moving forward, which is great, especially because we're about to hit Mercury retrograde period, um, and that's going to last through to the new year. So it's going to be a while while we're, while we're in Mercury retrograde. So it's great that you're getting this forward momentum um, before all of that happens. And I do feel like for many of you, it's going to be realization of just how amazing and powerful and magnificent you are. Um, it's not going to be just self-realization self stuff, but it's also going to be um, things like relationships, work, health, places and spaces and everything in between. So it's really gonna show up in a bunch of different ways. And it's really, really exciting. So I, I hope um, there's some amazing things that are gonna be coming to light for you and shifting. This week is also learning your mastery when it comes to your karma and other people's karma. Don't blame yourself unnecessarily. Sometimes we're pulled into loved ones and people that we care about we, we get sucked into their karma and we, you know, we take on their burdens that, and, and we help take on stuff that doesn't really belong to us. And that's okay if you're, if you're in a space of being able to um, hold somebody else up and not take on the burden and the responsibility and the emotional turmoil that comes along with it. So if you're not in a space where you're capable of doing that, it's okay to love and support from a distance. It's just really important this week. I just feel like you're going to be made aware of what's your karma and what's somebody else's karma. So to me, it feels like you'll probably experience a little bit of both um, so that you can take responsibility for your own karma and things that maybe you did, said, or choices that you made. Um, that are kind of showing up and coming to bite you in the booty. Uh, take responsibility for it, own it, accept it, don't beat yourself up about it, and move on. Um, and then, you know, if you notice that you're getting sucked into somebody else's karma and you realize that you're getting too involved, too deeply involved in someone else's stuff, that's where you need to recognize, okay, wait a minute, why am I letting this affect me so emotionally and pull back out of it uh, and find that balance. Again, you know, you're not going to be any use to anybody if you're getting sucked into this turmoil as well. Um, this week, I feel like there will be plenty of people saying it's not fair. So you might hear that a lot this week. You might be saying it yourself, but it just feels like it's going to be uh, surrounding like injustice or things are unjust or it's just not fair, or, you know, why me type of situation, um, it may not be fair, but it is what it is. So don't let it get under your skin, accept reality and look for solutions. And this week, I also feel like it's important for you to make sure that you're putting your emotions into perspective. What you feel isn't always the reality of a situation. So Again, it's going to be like all of these things are going to be hand in hand and affect us in different ways and um, bring up some stuff. So again, you know, just 
Try to accept. That's all that matters is acceptance, focusing on solutions, not getting sucked into the pain and the suffering of it. You're not meant to be suffering here. Um, also this week, change and new. I mean, those are still going to be hot topics, and I think they're going to continue throughout the rest of your life. The one thing that is constant is change. No matter how hard you try to resist it, inevitably it will fall upon you or happen to you. So, um, you know, again, it's going to be some more of that this week. Work, for those of you employed, I feel like this week most everyone will feel something is unfair at work. So some of you, I feel like, are in really crappy work environments, and it will feel even more unfair and unjust this week. Keep your cool. Don't let your emotions get the best of you. There's not much you can do about your work situation at this time except make a decision to find a new job. So really consider that. This week, a few will notice just how out of balance your, your home work life is. Um, some of you are spending way too much time at work, busting your butts, you know, worried about um, whether or not, you know, feeling guilty if you take time off, or maybe you work for someone who makes, you know, creates that environment of fear and guilt surrounding you taking time off. Uh, but I feel like you've got to figure out which area you're neglecting. Are you neglecting home? You know, some of you are going the other direction where you're kind of just feeling lazy and you don't really want to do anything. You don't want to go to work. You just want to hang out at home. And, uh, you know, that's out of balance. So again, I feel like a lot of you are going to figure out which area of your life you're neglecting in some way and figure out what it is that you need to do to make a change. And, you know, when it comes to your job about worrying about whether or not you're going to lose your job if you take time off or you're made to feel guilty if you do, you know, my advice, you don't live to work. You work to live. And what's going to make you happier? There's things that can be done. You're not stuck in a situation that is unresolvable or no solution exists. It's just going to re require you being courageous and fearless and making a change and just being, allowing yourself to be pleasantly surprised how easily that can happen once you actually go for it. Some of you, I feel like you will decide to quit. Um, the rest will be embarking on new things this week in the work arena. So it's going to be a little combo of unfair and new good stuff too. This week really feels like this yin and yang week. So it's kind of a, a crazy week. But again, it's it, it needs to happen. Like you have to have the polar opposites in order to figure it out. Like, how do you know what happiness is if you don't know what sadness is? Um, those of you looking for work, I feel like some of you are starting new jobs this week. Others, I feel like, are just getting solid leads, like you're getting hookups, you're getting connections, you're booking interviews. Uh, the rest, I feel, you're just going to steadily keep sending out resumes, and you're going to do the legwork of what you need to do to make things happen. Love, uh, those of you in committed relationships, I feel like the unfair thing is going to be coming up and affecting some of your relationships as well. One or both of you will feel like you've been treated unfairly. Maybe you've dished it and received it. You know, it takes two. Uh, you're mirroring your issues to each other, so talk about it already. And uh, others, I feel like relationships will feel like they're deepening, uh, which is a good thing. I, I feel like you'll feel more connected and in love, so that's exciting, and I'm happy for you, which, you know, that's what we want, love, yay. Um, and I feel like this will even happen for those of you that are feeling like things are unfair. Talk about it, discuss it, kiss and make up, and get to that, you know, whenever there's, typically when you're going through something in a relationship, it's because it is deepening. It is getting to a deeper level. It's when you avoid and deny and, and choose not to resolve things and talk about them, when, when things go the other way. Um, so, you know, think about that. Those of you looking for love, um, okay, this week we've got some of you who are still changing everything about yourselves to be what you think the other person wants. You've got to stop trying to fit in um, into something or an image that you're not. Like, stop being something that you're not. It won't work. It's self-sabotage. Be yourself instead. You know, be yourself. 
I think that is the only way to be because that's how you're going to end up in a genuine relationship. If you're pretending to be something you're not to get this person to like you, well, eventually you're not going to be able to keep that up. So you find somebody that's going to like you for you. Don't settle. Uh, for some, I feel like new relationships will be starting this week. So woohoo. Uh, finances, careful what you do with cash this week and who has access to it. It's not a great week to gamble. Um, if you've been waiting on an answer from a financial institution, I feel like you'll still be waiting this week, so be patient. Um, but like I said, it's kind of a yin-yang week. There's those of you who I feel like you'll be getting an increase at work or there's some money that kind of shows up or some sort of abundance that maybe you want to scratch off or something like there's just i just feel like there's a little bit of like a cash surprise coming up for some of you and maybe all of you you know um just be careful where you put your cash so it's not you're the one losing the cash and somebody else is finding it you know it could happen like that as well you just gotta love the universe um health Moderation and staying in the moment feels important this week. A little warning for some of you who are clumsy or accident prone. I feel like this could be a high risk week for minor um, to major accidents. So pay attention, stay in the, mo the moment, um, especially driving. I just feel like watch the road, not your phone or what's going on in your head. You know, just really be vigilant and pay attention. Spirituality, I feel like some of you will be dealing with anger this week or will realize you're angry and feel mistreated. Again, that unfairness stuff. Uh, it's, in, it's time to move on. Anger is just a symptom of sadness. Acknowledge and accept. Work on loving yourself and trusting yourself. That wraps up uh, the predictions for tonight. And if you enjoy these weekly general predictions, I'm offering personal, personalized monthly psychic predictions specific to you. Um, the monthly subscription cost is $58. If you're interested, you can go to my website, askrebecca.guru, under the personalized monthly, monthly psychic subscriptions tab. That, that's a whole mouthful there. Um, you can find more information or sign up, whatever you want to do. Um, let's do a really quick moment of zen, and then I'm going to jump right to the caller. Uh, I just feel like it's important this week to send out a little energetic boost. So close your eyes, open your palms, and tell yourself you're open to receive. I'm going to surround your entire body with energy and shoot energy through your crown to the bottom of your feet um, to help raise your vibration. And I'm going to ask your guides and the universe to lovingly help me do this. Um, so take a deep breath and exhale, and here we go. All right, you can open your eyes and let's go ahead and move on to tonight's caller. Let me see who we have here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, Reva in Wellington, New Zealand. Hi, how are you? I'm well, how are you? I'm doing great. Thank you for calling in. How can I help you tonight? Um, for a moment there, I wondered whether or not I had already received my reading from the stuff you were saying before. <laughs> oh, I love that. That's fantastic. <laughs> I, mean, I was sitting there listening, and I'm like, so do I still have to ask those, <laughs> the, those questions? Okay. Um, the, wow. the reason for my my call is I'm, I'm basically about to finish study, and... Um, I'm I'm just a little bit, I guess I might just ask a bit of direction on my next step. Um, I feel like it's um, that I, my, my next step is that I actually need to get a job. And so I've, I've you know, sort of um, put those uh, thoughts in action and, you know, applied for this one particular job that will fit in with my life. Um, but then on the other hand, I quite enjoy having the freedom yeah. of, um, you know, not working and I'm quite happy, quite content with how my life is. Um, and the only real reason that I'm sort of looking at employment is that I, I need extra money to fund my kids' extracurriculum stuff. And I just thought that the hours are perfect, I can do the job. But I guess I'm scared that I would fall into the trap of just doing it because I have to. And I feel like this year 
I've, I've um, since I've made redundant, I've lived my life of in purpose, and everything that I've done, I've done it because I, I want to, and I'm sort of not 100% feeling that it is my, um, my 100% choice to go back to work. Does that make sense? It does make sense, and one of the things I was feeling even before we started speaking was I feel like there's a lot of guilt, like you actually feel guilty um, you don't want to go to work, right? You're happy, you're content, um, but it's the guilt that's driving you to, like, you feel guilty, like you feel like you have to work. Yeah, yeah. I feel yeah. like, um, you know, I, I I need to work so that I can give my kids really good opportunities that they're quite passionate about, which has always been, you know, that's been how I've motivated myself, um, you know, this year to do things for us as a family. Um, but it's just, um, I'm, I'm, yes, I'm feeling guilty, but I'm also feeling quite obligated, and I don't like that feeling. <laughs> no, uh, no, yeah, yeah. There's a part of you that's rebellious to obligation and responsibility, just a little bit, because you're uber responsible. Yeah. That's the other thing. Like, so the job that you applied for, I actually feel like it will work out in your favor, but. I, I feel like it's going to take longer to get the response. So I don't know if it's like an open window of how long they're taking applications or allowing people to apply. And then there's another time frame of when they're going to interview people and things like that. So I kind of feel like a little bit of patience and it's just going to be a little bit longer. But I do feel like you can have what you want. You're actually really good at getting what you want because you focus on it and you put a lot of energy into just focusing on what you want instead of what you don't want. So it typically works yeah. out in your favor. Um, so I do feel like you're going to get the work situation that you want to be able to, you know, support your children. Um, I did want to ask you about so is there something where, because when it comes to, I feel like there's also maybe some jealousy. Is maybe somebody in your life jealous of the fact that you're able to um, live the way that you want? Because I feel like there's some jealousy surrounding you. Yeah, yeah. It would be jealousy as well as, um, is it, uh, I'm just trying to articulate it, sort of, sort of, I'm quite frowned upon because of, um, you know, the way that I'm, Choosing I guess, to live I, your I life. guess in, yes, exactly. We are, yeah. um, yeah, so it's, 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 yeah, yeah, you're right. It is, it is a portion of jealousy that turns into, um, yeah, just the it, reaction it, it turns into, towards me. Yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Yeah, it just feels like it's petty it's petty things that then affect, like, turn into a major thing, and it, it, it ends up being, like, little arguments and disagreements over just nothing, really, just because somebody's projecting. Um, is there also a little bit of um, anxiousness or... I don't know. Are, are you fearful about something? Are you fearful about losing yourself if you end up, like, going back to work where you're going to end up yes. getting sucked back into yes, that yes, yes. That, that, that That's so it. You know, so when I work, I'm really focused. Yeah. And, you know, before I became redundant, my life surrounded around work and then my family. And so yeah. since I haven't been working... I've had the opportunity to really switch that up and really connect with my kids. And I guess I'm scared that I'm going to go back into old habits and I won't be able to balance my work or, you know, balance. I could never balance it properly when I was working before, and um, which caused me to create quite a distance between me and my kids, and they're only young. Um, but now that I feel like I've, I've brought them close to me, I feel like the job might um, interfere because I get quite um, involved in in how I, I perform my roles and um, what the job expects of me, and I just feel like I 
give too much. In the past, I've given too much and received yeah. not good outcomes for, you know, my home life. I I feel like you'll be okay. Um, I do feel, you know, you're because you're so aware of it and you know yourself well enough because you are a very much um, – work oriented you do get into that work mode and you'll work out like you will skip lunch you'll do whatever you have to do to get the work done um i do feel like you'll be okay there you'll find the balance with it so don't worry about that just continue to focus on what you want um i only have two minutes left is there any other question that you want to ask me before we go no i'm quite confident with everything else it was more my next um, my next direction. <laughs> Do it. You, you, you're going to get a part-time job, basically. Is how, that's the job. The job you applied for is not a full-time position, right? It, it has more flexible hours. Yeah. 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 So you're going to be you're going to be fine. I, it feels really positive. I just feel like, you know, you're going to be waiting a little bit longer to hear from them. So to me, it kind of feels like Things might not happen until the end of this month, possibly the beginning of next month, uh, where you're going to actually get some forward momentum with that job. I wish you all the best of luck. So thank you so much for calling in. Um, that's all the time we have for tonight. Thank you all for tuning in. I look forward to connecting with you next week. Have a great week. I hope it's a fantastic one. I'm sending you all lots and lots of love. Thanks for tuning in. Good night.